God is my Lord. Jesus is my Lord. So my feelings do not get to have precedent over Christ. Christ is it. So my focus is just simply going to be on that. And I'm going to ride that way versus riding the roller coaster that is my emotions, especially when my like hormones are out of balance. Welcome back to Christ with Chanel. Today we are going to be getting into it. We're going to be talking about faith over feelings, finding peace within God through PMS. We're going in deep today, girls. So I've talked about my period and PMS on this channel before. So this is like not a new topic for my subbies, but basically I like suffer from really bad periods, bad menstrual cramps, like no other. When I talked about my period, on the channel last time it was basically about like trying and trying to find natural remedies to kind of like aid in that concerning the pain and things like that um a little update sadly to say um unfortunately those little remedies did not really work that well for me and your girl is now on birth control to better manage the pain because i got into a point where i was taking prescription pain meds and that was still not helping so even though i am on birth con birth control god still has been so good within that because i didn't want to be on any kind of medication but even though i have to be like he his grace is still in it because i haven't had any of the side effects or like bad like turnarounds that other people have had so i've just only have had the positive of the fact that i don't have as painful periods anymore Praise God. So glory to him all the same, but I still suffer from PMS and I'm like one of the women, unfortunately, that like suffers PMS straight two weeks prior to my period. And it's the most like <laughs> annoying thing ever because here you are trying to be like so focused on Jesus and just in love with him and show that love to others. But really, like, you're in a full-on battle in your mind wanting to kill everybody. <laughs> so we're going to basically talk about that. Because the reality is, is that the world wants you to just sit there and kind of just be in those feelings and be like, well, your feelings are your feelings. So you have right to just act however you want based off those feelings. And the Bible says that's not the truth. So, like, I am new within Christ, so I shouldn't have to to be dealing with these feelings, dealing with these mood swings, and the people around me, the people I love, and people I work with shouldn't have to deal with that either. Like, let's be honest, like that's just rude. So first things first, you have to come to the realization that your feelings are not God, God is. So like with the fact of you being born again, that you're a Christian, like Christ is living within you, you don't have to come a slave to how you feel and how your emotions want to ride you throughout the day. That's something like I've been really working on and just like really just focusing on that with Christ as of late because like I said, PMSing two weeks <laughs> like literally sucks and you just can't compress those feelings because God doesn't want you to do that either because you're only gonna like end up exploding on someone else you literally just gotta take it to him and like literally lay it as an offering on the altar to him and he will help you manage that like we literally can't do anything without Jesus like absolutely nothing we need him for everything especially concerning me managing my feelings and my hormones and the first thing is to be like my feelings are not lord over my life and for the longest time I would sit there and be like well this is just how I feel and I had I felt justified within that and that's not the case it's like God is my lord Jesus is my lord so my feelings do not get to have precedent over Christ Christ is it. So my focus is just simply going to be on that. And I'm going to ride that way versus riding the roller coaster that is my emotions, especially when my like hormones are out of balance. One of the quotes I absolutely love was from is from John Piper. This was given to me by one of the girls in my life group. And it goes like this. It's about feelings. My feelings are not God. My feelings do not define truth. God's word defines truth. My feelings are echoes and responses to what 
my mind perceives, and sometimes, many times, my feelings are out of sync with the truth. When that happens, and it happens every day, and in some measure, I try not to bend the truth to justify my imperfect feelings, but rather I plead with God, purify my perception of your truth and transform my feelings so that they are in sync with the truth. Again, quote by John Piper. The only thing I don't agree with this quote is the whole plead with God. Um, you don't have to plead with God. He's your father. I don't have to go up to my dad and like plead with him to give me some food, maybe some money. Cause he's like, you got your own job. Why are you asking me for this money? But even then, like, I don't have to plead with anything with my dad. He's a really good dad. And just think how much better our heavenly father is. So you don't have to plead with him to adjust your feelings, to adjust your emotions, to get them back in alignment with the truth. You just simply have to come to him and ask. We do, The Bible says we do not have because we do not ask. So when I'm having an emotional day and my emotions are everywhere and my hormones are everywhere wanting to try to rule my day, I just simply be like, nope, God, this, this is, this is your mind. You have control over it not my emotions, not my feelings. You direct my steps because you are the light onto my, like you're the light onto my path. So he will direct you and he'll easily do it. He's not, he's a good father. The Bible literally says you, you wouldn't go up to him and ask for bread and he's not going to give you a rock. He's going to give you what you ask for, especially if it's for your good. And us not being ruled by our emotions is a good thing. Another thing about like, of course, PMS and like dealing with all the emotional like ups and downs within that unbalanced hormone time is that a lot of women I know for me either struggle with depression or anxiety or both during this time and I literally heard it like stated that depression is fo is complete focus on the past while anxiety is focused on the future and neither one are in a positive like mindset it's not like you're sit sitting back depressed reminiscing on like a positive and feeling good about it. No, you're reminiscing about the past and a negative content, which is making your mind spiral into a negative mindset. And the same thing with anxiety, it's the fact that you are worried about the future and something neg like a negative outcome happening or like simply a positive one not coming to fruition. So like with that, again, just take it to your father. Don't sit there don't be focused on the past don't be focused on the future like god wants us to be present in where we are right now and that's why he asked us to ask him for daily manna like manna when it was given to the israelites in the in the wilderness it was not something that they could hoard they couldn't just gather up as much as they want and be like oh i got stashes of it for weeks to come it was like no you have to fully trust God, trust that he was a good father and that he was going to provide you what you need daily because it would go bad every single day outside of the day of the Sabbath. So with that, like I literally just the first thing when I wake up, especially during this time of the month when like I know my mind will want to switch to a negative mindset immediately. I just get up praising God. I ask him for his daily manna and he sees me through. Like with my job, I can get anxiety really quick concerning it because it's commission based position. So I can get real like, Lord God, is anyone going to want to shop with me today? Am I going to make my numbers or this is and that? And as soon as I get to that mindset, I'm like, nope, it's in your hands, Lord God. You're going to bring the people who you know that I can like aid the best and you, these numbers are your numbers. You're going to help me make it and I'm going to trust in you completely. And when I have those, those, those depressive states where I want to sit there and be stuck in the past and reminisce about past things and why my life isn't the way it used to be because so much has changed, I once again ask God for his daily manna to help me pivot and focus on him because no matter what, even though it's like hard sometimes not to 
go back and be like, well, I wish my life was still like that or why did this have to change? It's the fact that I have to still trust that he's a good father and he's going to give good gifts. And just because I don't have something now doesn't mean I won't have it in the future. And I just have to be at peace and settled at where he has me now and trust it's for my good. One of the things that I like to do also kind of just to help me with like keeping that positive mindset is like staying in God's word. I literally have in my note section, in my phone, a thing titled positive mindset. And it's nothing but different scriptures that I've taken out that I can go through quickly and read when I do get an anxious state or a depressive state. One of my favorites is you will keep in perfect peace all who trust in you, all whose thoughts are fixed on you. Trust in the Lord always for the Lord God is the eternal rock. Isaiah 26, that's three through four NLT. He is our rock. He is our foundation. So we just have to trust within that. And I say definitely, if you haven't done that, go ahead, take some time, find those encouraging Bible scriptures that you can memorize or like do what I do just put it in your phone so when you have those moments where you feel like your mind is starting to race and like go off track of being in alignment with what God word says you just whip it out and start reading down them and just keep saying them to yourself and it helps so much to get your mind back in alignment with Christ Lastly, another thing that has really just helped me balancing my emotions while going through PMS is honestly prayer and not just like any prayer, not just like Lord God help me through this day or give me my man like my daily manna or help me get my emotions back in line with you, but praying in tongues because it's the perfect prayer. It's your heavenly language to God and it will never be out of sync of what God's will is. So I've just been learning like these last like five months to not just to pray every day but to pray in tongues daily because it's gonna uplift your spirit it's gonna get you back in alignment with God and it always changes my mindset always without fail it just shifts you it's like a whole pivot it's like I don't know how else to describe it if you haven't received your heavenly language like I again we have because we don't ask I just say just pray to God be like Lord God, you've given this to us as a gift, so please give it to me because I know you have it for me for for my good. And he will like he will implant that in you. He will give you that heavenly language. So then every time you go into prayer in tongues, you are praying a perfect prayer. It's getting you in alignment with God and it's changing things in your life. It's the most it's the most helpful thing like out of everything I've done is praying in tongues for sure. Of course, we always hear that Bible scripture concerning like taking all our thoughts captive. So of course, we cannot like end this without reading that. And that's 2 Corinthians 10, 5, I'm reading it in the CS, the CSB version. Every proud thing that is raised up against the knowledge of God, and we take every thought captive to obey Christ. The main thing in this scripture right here that like takes just takes my attention like right away like takes my mind captive is the fact it start like the part where it starts off every proud thing every proud thing that tries to raise up against God's word so I know you can sit there and be like well I'm not prideful during this time like I'm sad I'm depressed (laughs) I'm anxious but it's the concept of those things thinking that they can be greater than God, greater than his peace, greater than his knowledge, greater than his understanding. So when those thoughts pop up in your head, it is considered like proud because they're trying to be bigger than God. They're trying to be bigger than Christ who's died on a cross for you to have peace, to not have to deal with these PMS emotions. So like, just think of that like when it comes to taking those thoughts captive, that these are proud thoughts that are not in line with God's word. And yeah, we're taking them captive and throwing them to the side because they're trying to be bigger than God and nothing is bigger than him because he has the whole world in his hands. So no, my dumb little anxious thoughts or depressive thoughts don't have power. They're not allowed to have power when I take them captive and get them back in alignment with God. (sighs) But that's everything I have for today. I know that was a lot. I came on here like on fire. I was excited because this isn't something like I've been 
dealing with majority of my life and I see how it's affected my life I see how it's affected loved ones lives and I was just like no God I'm not gonna deal with this anymore like I I can't change myself but you can change me God you died for me to change like Christ died for us to be in a new mindset within him so I'm like I want to take captive of that so no I don't have to be a biatch during my period and everyone just has to deal with it no I'm gonna have peace I'm gonna have joy and I'm gonna enjoy my life yes but that's everything I hope you guys enjoyed but hopefully I get to talk to you guys soon you all have a blessed day and a blessed week and I'll see you guys next time bye